Welcome back, everybody, to episode eight of The Road to 10% Body Fat. If you are enjoying this series, please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you're new to the series, welcome. It is a fully transparent series of me getting from super chunky, 30% body fat, 117.75 kilos, all the way down to 10% body fat, which I'm estimating will be close to 90 kilos. So it's going to be roughly a 27, 28, 30 kilo a weight loss journey and about a 20% um, difference in my body fat percentages, which would be significant. So uh, if you recall last week, I was dangerously close to getting down to that 105 mark. And the 105 mark uh, signifies 10 kilos less than the first DEXA scan. Keep in mind, remember, I did the first DEXA scan at the end of November and then over the month of December with Christmas and New Year's got even fatter. Uh, started this whole process at 117.75 kilos. Uh, so down, let's just say 12 and a half kilos from the starting point, um, but down 10 kilos from the original DEXA scan. So I wanted to get a rescan, and I did hit that 105 uh, last week. Remember, I filmed these uh, the following week, so I have a little bit of head time, lead time to get things done. Uh, so I booked myself in for a DEXA scan number two, and we're going to compare them today. Uh, before we do that, as always, I'm going to put my uh, what daily weigh-ins up here. You can see um, the total difference this week. I think I started at 106.4, 106.4 kilos, um, and at the end of the week, I was only down to 106.1. And you might say 300 grams. That's not that much. And you also might say, I thought you're going to get to 105 before you uh, do your DEXA scan. And the, uh, the, the reason why I did my DEXA scan is because I actually did get to 104.6 on the Friday morning. But the Germans, the Germans tripped me up. I'm going to tell you why right now. Uh, we have some friends uh, with some German heritage, and they decided to have a big old party on Saturday night called Fasching. And uh, I believe a little bit of German history here, and I apologize if I get this wrong, but fashion comes from an old uh, festival called Carnival, which was Latin for carne vale, which means no more meat, don't eat meat. And it was linked to an old Catholic, some deal rather around, uh, some Christian, uh, you know, I'm not a religious person, but basically around Easter, you meant to give up a bunch of things, like there's no meat and there's no this and that. I, I think maybe modern day, that's like your Lent, right? Like you don't, you don't eat, you give up a certain something towards around that Easter mark. And it's all based around those old traditions. Uh, but now in Germany, they just have a massive party. It lasts for three or four days called Fasching. It's held ger uh, Germany-wide. And, um, and you just have a party and eat a lot of food and have a great time. So we went to their place, dressed up, the dress-up party, uh, and... Uh, and we ate a lot of food. I ate a lot of food, and I treated it as um, my first fashion party should be treated. I, I enjoyed myself. So I did spike back up. I went down to 104.6, spiked back up to 106 point something, but by the end of the week, it was down to 106.1, right? So still down 300 grams, um, in net down 300 from the week, uh, but I know that I'm, you know, after you get rid of all that, uh, extra water weight and bloat and uh, and and just food mass out of the gut. Uh, that weight will drop down pretty quickly again. So I booked myself in for a DEXA scan, which I did. Remember, this comes up on Thursday night. I'm actually filming this Thursday morning. And I did the DEXA scan on Tuesday because, again, I was back at 105 kilos on Tuesday. So uh, uh, without further ado, let's have a look at the scans. And potentially the most important part of the scan, my thick Bones, all right? You know I'm proud of my thick old bones. Uh, you can still see that skeleton's nice and chunky. Uh, and what you will notice here is on this first scan, my bone mineral density, which is grams per um, squared centimeter, is 1.639. And on my second scan, boom, 1.697. My bones, my bones are so thick, they're still thick. They're getting thicker, all right? My bones are so thick and strong. They're getting stronger, which is um, a really happy surprise. Not surprised, I was interested. And here's why. When you drop a lot of weight quickly, uh, you are at risk of dropping lean mass and bone mineral density, okay? So when you're talking about a weight loss diet, 
the recommended amount is no more really than about 1% of your body weight per week is a good amount to lose. Now, I'm losing more than that. I'm losing more like one and a half, even 2% sometimes, depending on the week. So I was worried that maybe a lot of this weight that I was losing was lean mass. So, and again, to, to clarify, there's fat mass, which is just the weight of your fat, and then everything else is lean mass. That's your blood, your muscles, your bone, your water retention, it's everything else. So I was worried that I was going to lose lean mass, and from that lean mass, I was going to lose some bone density and some muscle mass, which I don't want to lose. Um, but I was also hopeful, because I hadn't trained in so long, I didn't train really since August, all the way through to December, that when I started training, I would re uh, adapt quite well and respond well and, and actually get some lean mass, um, at least retention, if not losing any, if not building any, um, because I started training again. So remember January, I was training for the squat challenge. I wasn't really doing any upper body sessions. I was training two to three times a week, lower body. And then I on the February started, I did one upper body session. It was my first one in five months. I thought I was going to die. And so I had that week off and then I got busy the next week. I didn't try to train one time in two weeks. I was like, all right. So I trained really hard for a month and then I didn't train for a fortnight and then I got this scan. What are the results gonna be? Um, we can have a look at them right now and I am very happy to say, let's switch on back here. Bone mineral density, um, more or less the same, okay? So I didn't lose any of that, which is really important. You definitely don't want to lose bone mineral density um, if you're losing weight or as you get older. So that was really positive. Uh, as we scroll down, uh, we're gonna look at body fat percentage now, okay? And this is a good one. So if you recall the first time, I was at 28.4%, I believe, but that was at 115. So if you extrapolate that out and add two and a half more kilos of fat mass, roughly, or even two kilos of fat mass and half a kilo of lean mass, it does put my body fat percentage closer to 30%. We did cover that on the very first episode, I believe, um, or the second episode, whichever one I did my first DEXA scan review on. Um, so I started this process at about 30% body fat. I am now down to 23.9%, okay? So down a little over 6% in body fat, which I'm really happy with. Also, something to keep in mind, that as I get lighter, assuming I can maintain the same amount of weight loss, that percentage drops faster, okay? Because there's less total weight. So I've, you know, I've come down from 117 0.75, I've lost, you know, let's just say 12 and a half kilos, I'm down to 105. But if I lose another 12 and a half kilos, it's not going to be 6%, it would be more like 8 or 10%, right? So, um, you know, th those numbers do change as the weight gets lower. But anyhow, uh, body fat percentage in total is down about six and a bit percent, which is great. Uh, and if you're looking at total fat mass and lean mass, um, I have dropped 10 kilos of fat mass and about two kilos of lean mass. And again, lean mass, bones, blood, water, water weight, muscle. So I know that I didn't lose any bone mass. My weights were all increasing when I was training. So I'm, I'm hoping they didn't lose a lot of uh, lean muscle mass tissue. I'm hoping that the majority of that two kilos was just sort of retained water weight um, with a minimal amount of lean mass, muscle mass. I am sure I did lose a little bit of muscle mass, um, but I think hopefully a lot of water weight. It uh, is not a huge number. Um, I've been taking, like I mentioned, creatine, um, this entire process as well, which helps you retain water weight. So normally you would see, you know, three, four kilos of, of weight drop really, really fast, um, not necessarily fat mass. Uh, over the first few days, I dropped I think it was three kilos in, in the first couple of days or in the first week, three and a half kilos, most of which would have been water weight. But then as the creatine became saturated in my system, I would have slowly uh, reabsorbed some of that water weight back in. So yes, I guess, uh, where can I, I'll show you the comparison. Let me scroll down. Here we are. All right, comparisons. So again, um, you can see right here, that was 28.4% at 115. So if you extrapolate that data out, it should be close to 100 and, uh, so close to 30% at 117.75 kilos. So down from 30% to 23.9%. Um, total fat mass, as you can see here, we dropped from 32.2 kilos down to just under 25. But again, you can add 
at two to two and a half kilos back on top of my starting weight. So it was really closer to 34, um, 34 and a half. Uh, lean mass did drop a little less than one, uh, the little less than two kilos. But again, I'm hoping that that is the majority from sort of water weight because we know my bone density didn't drop and I've been training, you know, at least for the first four weeks really consistently. Um, yeah, so I think that is that is what I wanted to, to see. One thing that I um, was also very interested in was my visceral fat. So let me just get this up here for a second. So visceral fat is the fat in and around your organs, and it's really bad to have in there, all right? If you have a lot of it, it can be really bad, I should say. Um, you don't want uh, to, be, to be loading up on that. Uh, on my first DEXA scan, here you go, at 115 kilos, you can see I had 679 grams of visceral fat, which was definitely high. They did, um, when I got the scan, they said, that's, you know, that's quite high, you want to definitely bring that down. Um, and keep in mind, I got two and a half kilos heavier, so that would have increased as well. But when I switch across to uh, the scan that I did just um, a few days ago, down to 454, so down a couple hundred grams there, so really heading in the right direction which um, is super positive to see. Uh, so yeah, I guess you've seen my weigh-ins, you've seen some comparison work, and the numbers that I'm focusing on are body fat percentage, total mass lost, lean mass versus fat mass lost, um, which are all really positive. Visceral fat lost, again, positive. And the one thing that I'm going to focus on now for the next eight to 10 weeks is actually and a hypertrophy block, which is gonna be challenging because I am eating at a pretty reasonably big calorie deficit, um, which isn't uh, great for building muscle. Uh, I'm going to try to build some muscle by doing really high volume. And again, I think I will respond well because I've had such a long time off weights training, I'm gonna get those newbie gains. And historically, I've done strength training for a long, long time. So I very rarely go more than six to eight reps on anything. So uh, this is all like eight, 10, 12, 15, 30s. Oh, it's brutal. So I'm really interested to see how I respond over the next little while. Um, as I continue to drop fat mass and, and, and total weight, uh, I am hoping to maintain my bone mineral density. I am hoping to have as little drop in lean mass as possible because I am saturated at creatine now. So any fluctuations shouldn't really be water weight. It's probably more leaning towards muscle mass now. So I'm going to try to maintain or build on my lean mass, drop the fat mass, keep dropping um, visceral fat, and and uh, trying to maintain my bone mineral density. So uh, that is all for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if there's anything that you want to see in these videos. I'll do my best to accommodate. Um, and I will continue this journey next, uh, actually this week, I am three sessions in already. Uh, I'll be doing five, five bodybuilding style hypertrophy sessions. And it's terrible. I want to throw up the entire time. I don't like it at all. I'm definitely not built for this, in this endurance stuff. I'm built for power and speed. But uh, that's all right. We're going to work through it. Work through it together. Maybe I'll even video one of my training sessions and post it up here as an episode. But uh, if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Otherwise, guys, I will see you all next week on the road to 10% body fat. It'll be episode 9 next week. Closing in on episode 10. Crazy quick, all right? This whole process is flying by. But really happy with the progress so far. Hope you all enjoyed that, and I'll see you all next week.